Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are viewing the Ray-Ban Aviator Total Black. Now these are just a standard pair of Ray-Ban Aviator frames in this new special Total Black colorway. Now of course, I've reviewed the original Ray-Ban Aviator several times on this YouTube channel, but I've gotten dozens of requests to review this exact colorway, and that's probably because Ray-Ban's website is severely lacking when it comes to information about these frames and their lens transmission values and everything like that. But first, I'll thank today's video sponsor, our own website, ShadeReviewStore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, just like these up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is ShadeReviewStore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 58 millimeter lenses and a 14 millimeter bridge. And this is the standard and only size of these sunglasses that Ray-Ban produces the Aviator Total Black in. Unfortunately, they do not make a larger or a smaller lens size of the Aviator Total Black. I have no idea why, uh, so sorry if you don't fit the standard size, you're gonna be out of luck when it comes to this exact colorway. Now, speaking of this exact colorway, Ray-Ban says these frames are their polished black uh, frame color, and they look really, really nice. And these frames are glossy and not matte. I think a matte black version would also look really, really cool and sleek, but these are not. They are a, a polished black frame. And as far as the name of these lenses go, these are Ray-Ban's black lenses. It doesn't say anything else other than black, which is really interesting because they do have polarized lenses. Uh, so you think that they would say black polarized is the name, but nope, the name is just black, which is really, really confusing. And now for those of you uh, who want to know the exact frame and lens uh, color code information, these are 002 for the frames and then 48 for the lenses. So I'm not sure if Ray-Ban is just repurposing another polarized lens and then just calling these the black ones uh, to fit in with the Aviator Total Black name. If you happen to know, make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'm definitely interested to know. However, what I do know is these lenses are definitely very different than the classic uh, Ray-Ban G15 lens lens or in the G15 polarized lens. Uh, so here with the total black, we have much more of a gray base tone to them. We're here with the G15, we have those green natural tones here. But again, with these, you have only those gray tones and no green at all, as far as I can see with the eye. Now, as far as looks go with this colorway, I do think these look really, really nice and very sleek, kind of like FBI uh, agent. Uh, we're here with the gold, it definitely looks more like a fighter pilot and definitely more loud. Uh, of course, I personally do prefer the gold just because I think it'll look absolutely gorgeous and again it is the standard color of these frames you really can't beat uh, the gold frames and when Ray-Ban first produced these frames the gold plating was not just there for looks it was actually there because the gold plating actually helped uh, create anti-corrosion uh, materials on the frame so they actually last a lot longer with uh, sweat and different things they're not going to pit and kind of like uh, disintegrate uh, like a pair that was not treated with a gold plating wood so it's basically uh, there for um practicality purposes and not just for style, uh, where now, again, it's basically just there for style. Now, popping back on the Aviator Total Black here, we can see they do kind of have a different vibe bit to them. They have much more subtle, much more, you know, strong, I would even say a little more masculine with the, the black uh, look of these frames. And I, again, I do like these. I just prefer the classic gold and that's just kind of my style. But these, of course, just like the originals, do have all glass lenses and the optical clarity of these is very, very good. They also have a a very nice anti-reflective material here on the back side as well, which is really important to block sunlight coming in out an angle and bouncing off the lens. So that's also really, really a nice touch here. Now, something that's very interesting to note here is on a pair of original Aviator frames, we can see that on the very top, it says Ray-Ban made in Italy, and it's going to be etched on there. And here with the total black, uh, we can't see that basically at all. But if you look really, really, really close, you can actually see where it does have a little bit of etching. And I try to take a photo or a video of it, and I just cannot get it to show up because I can barely see it with my own eye. And it does have the etching there. And then here on the bottom, again, we do have etching. It's a little more visible here on the underneath bridge uh, where it would say Ray-Ban 5814 like it does on the gold. Uh, basically, uh, this thick polished black uh, coating that they're using on these frames is completely covering up the etching. And because of that, you can't see that information. It is still there and you can kind of feel it if you know what you're looking for or if you know what you're feeling for. You can still notice that it is there, uh, but that definitely is something interesting. So if you get a pair of these frames and you're expecting those etchings and then you see a pair that doesn't have it, you're like, oh, it's gonna be fake. It's 
it's not actually fake. It's still going to be there. You just cannot see it very easily. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind. And uh, that is kind of sloppy on Ray-Ban's part that they weren't able to like, make the etching more aggressive or something. Basically, they just took a regular pair of Ray-Ban aviators and then did this uh, powder coating here with the glossy coat and it just completely covered up uh, most of the uh, crevices that the etching had in there, obviously. But as far as build quality goes, these are built just as good as the originals other than the really nice etching kind of being covered up with the uh, powder coating on these frames. So definitely kind of keep that in mind. These are made in Italy. They say that here in the inner right temple of the frames, they say Ray-Ban made in Italy, polarized. They do also have fully adjustable nose rest. You can actually adjust these to your liking, which is really cool because that allows you to uh, have the frame sit lower on the face or higher on the face, depending on your personal preference. And then it's also going to make it more comfortable as well. Now, as far as pricing goes, these frames are going to run you $221 directly from Ray-Ban's website and in most stores. So I'm going to leave a link description down below directly to the website if you're interested in picking a pair of these frames for yourself. We also do have these available on our website for a substantial discount off the original MSRP. So again, make sure to click the link description down below to our website and see which one is more competitive. We try to keep these in stock on our website, but they do kind of constantly sell out. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, overall, I do like these frames. I just do happen to prefer the the original classic uh, design because I really, really do like that gold color. But I also do like these gray lenses. They have a good neutral tint to them, which is really nice as well. But either way, you really can't go wrong with either one of these frames. A Ray-Ban does make pretty good sunglasses, especially considering the price point. And if you do get them on sale on our website, you definitely really can't go wrong with a pair of a standard original classic Ray-Ban aviator frames. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.